there is no way anyone in their right mind can argue that the things that we're hearing today that's being placed in our high schools, elementary schools, middle schools for kids to hear and read and practice has anything to do with making them better, making America better, making our neighborhoods better. <laughs> All right, fam. So look, I just came across a crazy video, and I can't react. I, I can't react. I cannot wait to react to this video with you guys. So first off, the title says that grandfather changes Pride Month to Jesus Pride Month at school board meetings. So I'm actually pretty excited to see what this is about. Go get my thoughts and opinions on the situation. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Without further ado. Happy 4th of July weekend, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what y'all do. But anyways, let's get it. Let's go. Also, uh, make sure y'all put me up a plate for some barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, barely got to eat. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to donate some barbecue, let me know. You feel me? Anyways, let's go. Thank you for this opportunity to speak. And I want to take the time to first wish everybody a happy Jesus Pride Month. <laughs> For the month of June, we have designated this month uh, to Jesus Pride because we love the Lord and we believe in biblical principles, and uh, uh, and we're glad to wish you a Jesus Pride as you wish the rest of us a Pride, uh, Happy Pride Month. Now, I'm standing before you today as a grandfather. I got to have wonderful grandkids. I have one who is in the age group of this book when Aiden became a brother. And uh, when Adam was born, everyone thought he was a girl. But once he came out as a trans boy, Adam and his parents fixed the parts of his life that didn't fit anymore. And he settled happily into being himself. Adam didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really another kind of boy. Now this book is for kids, five years old, six years old, so forth and so on. And um, this book is available in 31 elementary schools in our county. This I'm sorry. Uh, I, I wasn't really trying to pause the video right now, but that is, that is trash. That is like, <laughs> that is, it scares me for my future kids. I, I, I don't have kids right now, but it scares me for my future kids that those is the books that they're going to be putting into the schools. So when my kid goes to the library, you know, for their little, for their little, you know, monthly read or whatever, they find that book, they pick it up, they bring it home. It's like, bro, like, I don't want my kids to read stuff like that because I don't want them to be confused. You know what I'm saying? The only person that is the father of confused, confusion is the devil. The devil is the only person that is the father of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. You know what I'm saying? That's the devil. <laughs> So if you're confused on whether or not you're a boy or a girl, that's the devil. That is the devil manipulating you, making you think that you're a, 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 a girl when you're supposed to be a boy. And I don't want my kids coming home, take, taking home that book and they become confused. Mommy, I, mommy, daddy, I feel like I should be a girl. Because Eden, you know, everybody thought that she, he was uh, this and that. Like, no, bro. God made you a uh, God made you a way for a reason. If God chose if God chose for you to be a woman, it's a purpose behind you being a woman. If God chose you to be a man, oh, that's a big responsibility, you know what I'm saying? But he chose you to be a man for a reason. He didn't want you to turn yourself into a woman. And if you're a woman, he didn't want you to turn yourself into a man. God doesn't make mistakes. He created you the way that he wanted you to be uh, to be made. And you talk about being yourself. Being yourself is being what God created you to be. That's being yourself. Faking it is, oh, I'm going to change myself into a woman. Oh, I'm going to change myself into a man. That's faking it. Being yourself is being truly what God created you to be. That is how you be yourself. This is garbage. And whoever is responsible for this ought to be ashamed. And I want to say this. There is a judgment day coming. But there is evidence that the God of the Bible is passing judgment. When God passes judgment, you know what he does? He gives people over to vile affections 
vile thoughts, when they reject his truth and decide no matter what, they're going to believe what they want to believe anyway. You know what God says? He says, have at it. And it's evident that in many cases, I'm seeing judgment pass. Because there is no way anyone in their right mind can argue that the things that we're hearing today that's being placed in our high schools, elementary schools, middle schools for kids to hear and read and practice has anything to do with making them better, making America better, making our neighborhoods better. This is trash. And I pray that to the extent that you can, you will rise up against this. There ought to be something in us that will make us want to protect the hearts and minds and even the appetites of our children. And many of them have no sexual appetite at all until they read this. Why are we sexualizing our children? I'm as angry about this as I can be. And I pray that you will consider uh, our words and give our children a chance. They're not sex toys, and they're not your kids. We want to leave raising the children to the parents. Thank you very much. Bro, he just spoke a word. I don't know if this man a pastor or not, but I, I mean, the way he came up there, he looked like, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to call him Pastor Father or something. I don't know, bro. I'm going to call it something. You know what I'm saying, Pastor Pass the D. That, that's it. Pass the D. You know what I'm saying? Because bro came up there professional about it. You know what I'm saying? He gave his thoughts and concerns about it. And I feel like we all can feel the same way. Like, me personally, like I said, I don't have kids. But, however, I know how it can literally, it can literally confuse a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at my baby sister. There's some things that she's confused on. You know what I'm saying? Like, today, she asked me, how am I blind? Now, y'all never see me wear glasses, but I wear glasses, okay? Literally, I can't see nothing. It's Y'all all blurry. You feel me? I don't even know if I'm looking at the camera or not. I might look cross-sided. But but no, seriously. She asked me how I'm blind. I continue to tell her how I'm blind. You know what I'm saying? But she is so confused because she's like, how are you blind? I can see perfectly fine. I, and then she said, I wish I could get into your body so that way I can, you know, see if you're really blind or not. She's confused by the simple fact of me telling her that I'm blind and I can't see. She's confused by that. So imagine her reading a book of a boy that turned into a girl and the parents is okay with that. And uh, just a whole bunch of nonsense. Why can't we be what God created us to be? That I, That's what I want to know. Why can't we be what God created us to be? If God created us to be a boy, why can't we be a boy? If God created us to be a, 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 a woman, why can't we be a woman? Why do we have to switch up these the gender? You know what I'm saying? That's not what God wants. Literally, we're living in the days where this is like Sodom and Gomorrah. You know what I'm saying? This is like Sodom and Gomorrah. All the LGBT that's flying around. Gay people got a whole month to themselves, but then we just throw away the veterans that died on the, that uh, that died for this country, that put their life on the front line for this country. We throw away them. They don't matter, but the gay people do. It don't make sense to me. If we will have a month for Pride Month, if you will have a month for Black History Month, you have to have a month for Veterans Month. You can't have just one day. Oh, we're going to celebrate Veterans Day for one day. That's all they deserve. No, they deserve way more than that way more than that we don't give them honor and thanks enough for what they have done for this country we don't give them that honor and thanks but we'll give the lgbt that honor and thanks we all oh, accept them they've been through so much okay you know how many other cultures been through so much you know how many races them been through so much we all been through hell i'm just trying to figure it out <laughs> but they get the special treatment why should they get the special treatment? God created you a certain way. God created you a way for a reason. God didn't create you gay. God did not create you transgender. God didn't create you none of that. It all started with here. It all started with you reading. It all started with you uh, looking at something. It all started with maybe you being touched. And you may not even remember you being touched at a young age, but it kind of, you know what I'm saying, made you feel some type of way. Now you're growing up questioning your sexuality, not knowing who you want to be. Not knowing if you were supposed to be this way or if you're supposed to be this way. Not knowing nothing. We have to get it together. Stop trying to uh, stop trying to write these books and confuse our children. Like he said, this is not child children. This is our children. If I have a child going to your school, I do not want books like these inside the, inside the school to confuse my child. 
I don't want my child to grow up confused. I want him or her to grow up knowing who they truly are. Their true identity lies in Christ. I want them to grow up knowing that. I don't want them growing up, oh, daddy, um, I think I'm supposed to be a, 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 a girl. Excuse me? Son, go eat you some ice cream or something. Get out of my face. I, like, come on now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I feel like this grandfather went off. He demolished. He demolished the school board. Okay, seriously, he demolished them. This is what we need. We need parents to stand up. We need parents to rise. We need all the parents to rise up. So many parents are so clueless on what's going on in schools, and they don't, they wonder why their kids are failing. They're want, they're wondering why their kids are coming home, uh, questioning their sexuality. They're wondering all these things because you got other people in the school, you got other kids in the school that may not be trained well by their uh, mother and father, and they're reading these books, so the books are confusing them, and they're confusing our child. Like, bro, the school, the school boards, the school in general is just corrupt okay they all corrupt not all but some of them are corrupt all these schools is corrupt seriously but this is this is a generation we're going to the next generation will be filled with nothing but transgenders not knowing not knowing which one is a boy not knowing which one is a girl and the next generation will be filled with they them pronouns all type of nonsense bro <sighs> bro we are literally in the last days whether you believe it or not but y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notification. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>